Well, you want to know more about accessible barrier-free homes and specifically about barrier-free living. Well, by the end of this video, you're going to have a pretty good grasp on the training necessary to be able to become very adept at being an expert on barrier-free homes. In this case, barrier-free living. My name is Mike Donnelly, and I uh, am the owner and creator of uh, Barrier-Free Contractors. And Barrier-Free Contractors has been working for about five to six years, learning how to do all the accessible features that a home needs. So my goal is to be able to impart that knowledge and all of the great players that we have with us to be able to give that to you. So uh, my best advice in this case, and is take a look at this, see the training necessary in this case for Barrier Free Living again, and uh, understand and su subscribe to our video. And please check the platform out because I think you're gonna see some really good things. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share the screen, we're gonna walk through this and be able to get you some concepts of what's going on. So here we go. All right, um, the whole goal here is to be able to make life easier for those that have a real dramatic need to be able to move through their house in a way that just helps them out tremendously. All right, so here we go. Uh, very free living and the methods and techniques necessary to help those with physical challenges develop an accessible home. Um, what I did was uh, a while ago, I put together a blueprint for full accessibility in a home. And in that blueprint, you're gonna see various aspects that help uh, others be able to learn about the, the ways to create accessible features within their home, creating independence and comfort. So we developed an independent living program for barrier-free living. And in that program, uh, we, did, we looked at things like independent living for people with disabilities, seniors and veterans with mobility challenges, eliminating interior barriers, installing safety features, installing specialty items that will allow for ease of use, and each home that I go into has its own restrictions. So find a way within that home to make barrier-free living possible. Um, in that scenario, we look for things like curves to showers. Something that's in developing a plan, curves to showers are so prevalent and maybe a tub, uh, narrow doorways, round door handles, bath safety issues, bath and kitchen ki uh, sinks and cabinets, dishwashers, microwaves, washer dryers, cooktops, flooring, multi-story buildings, all of these things are impediments to having somebody be able to live their life in an independent way. So what we did was we put together uh, a barrier-free living concept. And so what I'd like you to do is leave a comment in the section below. So what we don't cover today or what you don't understand, you're gonna be able to grab that knowledge and ask me questions about uh, a specific topic that you'd like to discuss. So you're gonna see uh, the next video that we put up is a barrier-free environment and uh, it's going to be the link in the description below. Um, beautiful. Take a look at that. So let's start with barrier, removing barriers to entries and showers. Um, it's so prevalent. It's unbelievable. But the entry in this case is from a lanai into a living area. There's a step up over the top of a sliding glass door that's impossible for a wheelchair to navigate. Same with uh, entries to homes. I mean, there's almost always a three to a four inch curb that a person in a chair just can't get over. And then take a look at this, this shower door. This shower door is impossible to get over and get through. Um, it's got, not only does it have a curb, but the door is so small, there's no way that anybody can access this that has any kind of a chair or a walker. So what we do to solve that problem is we're gonna go ahead and uh, install um, shower uh, entries that have no steps. That's a, you see that with the new construction entry. This is a new construction entry into a garage. That's a construction entry going into a, a, a laundry room. And this one is an older home. Doesn't have to be older, but generally if you've got to put a ramp and do it. These other three are easy access, roll in scenarios that anybody can get into. And from a bathroom standpoint, these two on the left, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take the curbs and the tubs out and put a specific roll in shower accessible scenario. Over on the right, two, two problems. You've got the, uh, you see the shower curb, you got a sink that's inaccessible, you got a toilet that's too low, and carpet, that, which is impossible to get over. So there's some interesting features. So we'll take accessible uh, stove tops and vanities and sinks, and we're gonna, we're gonna make these accessible to individuals. For example, here's a problem. You've got uh, tough to access bath and kitchen sinks and cabinets. Well, how do you solve that issue? Well, what you do, 
is you go ahead and you put roll under cabinetry on you. You see, you've got the kitchen sink that's accessible. Now you've got a bathroom vanity accessible. Another kitchen sink that's accessible simply by a wheelchair rolling under it make, makes it a piece of cake. And here's another uh, design that's, that's applicable to somebody in a chair. All of these make life so much better for someone. All right, so if we take those scenarios and then we take another concept where we take doorways that are gonna be enlarged because they're just impossible to get through. It's amazing the number of homes that have doors that are too small. Can't get in with a wheelchair. It creates damage to the jam and to the casing and everything else that's involved. Many times we walk, you can't even get in with a walker. So what we do, here's some examples. Here's a walker you can't get into that bathroom. 24 inch uh, opening. How can you get into something like that? So we'll take these doorways that are impossible to get through and we're gonna make it better. And how we do that? is we're gonna create a wider doorway. So you're gonna see here, we took a door that was a 28 inch door and we made it a 36. We created a barn door, which is really pretty cool because now that opening is completely open. You slide the door, door uh, the uh, barn door back, you're gonna see where you easily walk through with a beautiful casing and uh, trim taken care of. Um, in this case, uh, that's another door we widened to make it a 36 inch door. And over here, you're gonna see the, uh, offset hinges, which enlarge your door by an inch and a half to two inches every time. It's beautiful. So, okay, so let's go back. Barrier-free living. Everyone deserves an accessible home. It's a perfect, it's a purpose that's life-changing. And in this case, that blueprint is something that you're going to want to take a look at. It helps tremendously when it comes to knowing the various features that an accessible home will produce for you. So are you ready to take action? And if you are, we like to teach you more about how to design a plan specifically for you or people you love or a business that you like to get involved with. I want you to become an expert authority on this. And by clicking the link below, you're going to apply to work hand in hand as my client. Take a look at that accessible home masterclass. That's what you want to look at. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share it with a friend. And I want to thank you for watching. And remember, listen. Finish your life with a flourish. You can't, you can't go wrong by helping other people live a better life. Thank you very much for taking part of this. And we want to get you going in whatever way we possibly can. Thank you again.